This is my friend Robert. Robert's been a friend of mine for about four years and he and I share a love of spirituality, I guess, and we try to live a spiritual life. I was pretty shocked yesterday when Robert called me from the hospital to let me know that he'd gone in for his pre-angiogram checks and they told him he has to stay in and they're actually going to do a triple bypass next week. So I'm going to go and visit him tomorrow and just find out where he's coming from. Why do you think you've got the heart issues? Oh, well, it's very simple. It's your heart. It's the centre of love, right? So in the early part of my life, um, I did so much for others. My self-esteem was in the toilet, so I didn't love myself as much as what I could have done. Everything's got a metaphysical cause to it. They're going to open me up three, possibly four bypasses. And while they're in there, they'll check my heart valves and check my heart over generally if they don't find anything else other than the bypasses. Sew me up and put me in ICU and let me heal. Are you worried about it? No. You don't have any fear at all? No, no. Robert's the first of my friends that's had any serious heart issues. Anyway, I'm planning to follow him for the next couple of days and weeks. I'll also be really interested to know from a spiritual point of view what he plans to change about his life. Both Robin and I have a great belief in your biography is your biology. And while you saw him talk about that he believes that this heart thing has come about from things that have gone in the past, he's also expressed to me and we've talked about before that it's also an indication of having to change things in the future. Today I'm going to go and see Robert in intensive care. He had his operation yesterday. And he has told me that instead of a triple bypass, they actually had to do a quadruple bypass. Uh, the last time I visited someone in intensive care was a very, very close friend of mine who passed away after a very tragic traffic accident. Yeah. And it all went well? So far. So it was a quadruple bypass instead of three. And did they have to do any other work as well? No. He said that was sufficient. Because apparently I was quite a mess. Rita, can I have my beep beep please? So they're testing your lungs regularly too? They're pumping them up. Robert's just called me and he's been transferred to a ward. I think so. That's just saline to keep my um, blood pressure regulated. And then there's some dopamine in there. And I'm not sure what else is in there. And she said she's they're lowering the dopamine? Yeah, weaning me off it in the next two days. Got ventricular wires which are blue here, which is connected here. So these ones weren't connected before. So now we are connected. On a personal level. I need to know for the first three to four weeks that I'm home. So I've got somebody there. How many weeks home are you before you're supposed to go back to work? Four to six. Yeah. So today is my second visit to Robert on the ward. He's so excited about coming home. Okay. How are you feeling? Good. Six days. How amazing is that? Hmm. So what's been the best thing then since you've had everything off you. Freedom. How was the first shower? Oh, that was just mind blowing. <laughs> How's your chest feeling? Chest is actually pretty good. I had a physiotherapist is coming back this afternoon to work with me on that one. Had no fears about surgery. Yeah, yep. Yeah. My fear is screwing it up. Yeah. yeah. You're, doing, you're doing all the right things. Doing all the right things. Okay, so I'm off to see Robert at home today. I'm really excited. 
I know he's excited about being home. What's it like being home, Robert? Awesome. It's because I allowed myself to get into the energy of the place and like it's a peaceful energy. It doesn't feel like a week. But in hospital you're locked up in a room and you tend to lose track of time. So how would you overall sum up the whole last week? There's only two words you can use. Life changing. Just life changing. I'll be a little bit more careful with how I do a lot of things that I used to do. But you don't very often get a second chance at life so when you do, you don't blow it. It is four weeks since he had that operation. So it'll be interesting to talk to him about how things have changed. You're yeah, right, I'm absolutely bored shitless. So that's why I pestered the doctor to let me go back to work. Did you think you'd be going back to work with soon? Yeah. Oh yeah. Because I beat him over the head. Because in one of the papers that I got back from the hospital, said that if you have a sedentary job, you can go back to work within four to eight weeks of your surgery. So I just took that into it and said, see, four weeks, four weeks, four weeks. What are you going to do when you retire? What's that? Well, you've just found yourself so lost while well, you've been at home doing nothing. Hopefully, by the time comes for me to retire, I'll be a whole lot better off financially than what I am now, and I can probably travel a bit. That's what I'd like to do. But as with everything, Kathy, it comes down to money. What's changed? I belong to the Zipper Club. <laughs> <laughs> On a physical level, um, a lot. Yeah, I've lost a lot of weight, but um, I can now walk up more than 100 metres, which is what I couldn't do before I had my surgery. What about emotionally, psychologically? How do you think it's changed you? Apart from the fact that I've been given a second lease on life, not really. Because I had my core beliefs before yeah. I went in and had the surgery, and I've still got them. And I believe it's those be that belief system that's helped me through the process. Yeah. yeah, so your thoughts on mortality and everything haven't changed? No. I'm very, very glad I woke up, and I'm going to live for however long now. But if I'd had a passed over on the table, it wouldn't have mattered because I've had a very full life, and I'm happy to be here because there's still so much I want to do. So good to see him up and about and feeling so good and feeling so motivated about getting back to work. It was interesting when we talked about his mortality and he said his thoughts hadn't changed since the first time I spoke to him. But I just wonder about when we talk about the heart, it's very much about our ability and our willingness to communicate and let people into our lives and how we let people into our lives. I would really love for him to change some of the things that he does socially. But just look at him. It's absolutely amazing.